हम दोनों है अलग अलग हम दोनों है जुदा जुदा आ, 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 ंग Let me remind you all one more time that all these creative people are spammers. That's how my account looks like. Also remember I never give my mobile number in any chat. I neither have an advisory nor do I give any stock tips. When the day Fino Payments IPO was declared, I got so many questions and comments asking me that, "Oh, Paytm is coming up with an IPO." Please understand. Fino payments and Paytm are alag alag and juda juda. Okay, if I were to talk about Paytm, Paytm IPO is going to be one of the largest IPOs in our country. It's going to get listed through its parent company, which is One Ninety Seven Communications. And as on the day of the shoot of this video, RHP of Paytm is not yet available. But if they are different, why are people getting confused? What is the connection between these two? Exactly, that is what we are going to discuss. in the coming part of the video have a look at this chart are you able to identify what is the connection between paytm and fino payments yes no are they are peers so paytm payments bank india post payment banks airtel payment bank fino payment banks jio payment banks nsdl payment banks all are peers all are competitors so please don't get confused between these two they are not at all the same they are peers they are competitors established good now let's understand how big paytm is as compared to fino payments bank or what is the scenario let's have a discussion about this if i talk about one by one the very first one is deposits how much deposits paytm payments bank has they have 34.5 billion rupees of deposits versus fino payments bank has a deposit of just 2.51 billion rupees 2.51 billion is not just but in comparison with paytm it's a small amount right if i'm talking about the net worth for paytm it's 4.8 billion rupees and for fino payments it's 1.5 billion rupees if i'm talking about capital reserve adequacy ratio uh, ratio for paytm it's 62.4% and for fino payments it's 54.84% if i'm talking about branches paytm has very less branches with only 6 and fino payments has 54 branches but again last point which is banking touch points for paytm it's 21 and for fino payments it's It's a very small amount, so I hope you have understood that Paytm is way too bigger as compared to Fino payments. I'll give you one more data point. Have a look at this data point now. If I'm talking about debit cards outstanding, Paytm is at 63.77 million debit cards, and Fino payments has just 2.26 million debit cards outstanding. Value of transactions again rupees in billions for Paytm is 84.53, and for Fino payments it's 17.12, and volume of transactions at ATMs and POS. POS is a point of sale for Paytm it's 46.06 million, and for Fino payments it is 6.91 million. I hope with all these data points you have understood that number one, that now there is no confusion between these two entities. You have understood that they are peers, and number two, you have also understood that Paytm is way too bigger as compared to Fino Payments. Let me give you a quick introduction about Fino Payments Bank. Basically, it's a fintech company and it digitally offers various financial products and services. But the moment you hear the word Fino. payments bank i'm sure you might get confused as to exactly what's a payment bank that part we are going to discuss in the next part of the video now let's understand what's a payment bank okay that's how it will look like animation team not this big that's better okay now if i talk about a bank what all can you visualize about a bank they can lend 
uh, loans okay so they can give loans they can issue credit cards uh, they can accept deposits say time deposits they can also establish subsidiaries so that they can act as nbfcs okay but please understand a payment bank cannot issue credit cards a payment bank cannot issue loans a payment bank cannot establish such subsidiaries and a payment bank cannot also accept time deposits now with this then he will be like now everything is gone what is left is just this building nothing else then what do they do number 1 they can offer casa what is casa current account and saving account number 2 they can also offer debit cards number 3 they can offer services like domestic remittances they can also service uh, offer services like cash deposit and withdrawal through micro atms and also they can offer services like mobile wallets and cash management services with this basic understanding i guess you might have one more question that okay now we understood what does a payment bank do but how do they earn money exactly that's what we are going to talk about in the next part of the video all right now you tell me how does a normal bank earn money possibility number 1 it could be interest on loans given possibility number 2 it can be fees on credit cards issued but if you remember i just told in the previous section of the video that the company can i mean a payment bank can neither offer credit cards nor can they give loans then what could be their major source of income basically what they do they cross sell various products like what like it could be insurance it could be gold loans it could be bill payments it could be recharges and whenever they offer these services are they going to charge a commission for that answer is yes so a major source of revenue for any payment bank is the commission that they receive by cross selling products like insurance mutual funds and so on simple number 1 number 2 whenever payment bank gets some deposits remember i told you that they can accept time deposits yes can they keep these deposits with some other bank and also earn interest on that yes so these are the two sources of revenue for any payment bank now let's start with the financial summary of fino payments bank and here you can see we are talking about 3 years data 2019 20 and 21 all rupees mentioned here are in millions if you check the total assets they have grown at a cagr of 122% revenue has grown at 146% pat has come from negative to a positive figure and deposits have grown at 226%. Okay, on one side you can see that CAGR numbers or percentage is amazing, but also one more way to look at it is that the base numbers are not very big because of which the CAGR looks more fantastic, right? Moving on with the IPO details, some basic points like opening date is 29th October, closing date is 20 uh, is 2nd of November. Uh, that's Shahrukh Khan's birthday, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Uh, next one is IPO price is five sixty to five seventy seven on an upper band. Uh, the issue size is comparatively a very small one. It's just a one thousand two hundred crores size issue, so not a big IPO as such. Out of this one fourth amount is a fresh issue. Balance three fourths is an OFS. What are they going to use this money for? They are going to use to make their tier one capital more solid and also to meet other expenses. when is it expected to get listed on november 12th 2021 so to sum up this entire discussion of nika versus paytm payments versus fino payments i personally believe that nika's overall business model as well as financials are amazing so if you ask my first choice out of these three my first choice goes to nika okay for those who have not watched that video make it a point to watch that video first and then make your own decision okay number 2 now there is a confusion between either paytm payments or fino payments for that uh, paytm payments bank rhp red herring prospectus is not available as on date but it is expected to be published soon so i would wait to watch out their financials and dig down deep into further details of paytm but as of now i would still prefer to keep that as my number 2 choice because it's way too bigger and well established as compared to fino payments bank and no need for me to tell you that fino payments will be in that case my last choice so when am i considering this as a sequence considering that i have limited capital for investing in ipo that would be my sequence for investing into these ipos just a small addition that everyone knows policy bazar ipo is also on its way do let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a separate video on that as well i hope you have enjoyed this one so till then take care jai hind and bye bye